The funny thing is, I've got all these new chances to get springboards, but I've been so devoted to bringing this one springboard with me that I've kind of, like, I feel like I've made mistakes. That's what I'm trying to say right now is that- oh, crap. Ooh, that had a Goomba costume. Although I'm missing the stamp right now. I saw the stamp. It was right here. And I don't know if I have a reasonable way to blow this thing up. Oh, look at that! The missile things won't trigger if you, um... What? Oh, I have... Okay, that's the suit I have on right now. I was like, what suit do I even have on? Alright, how do I get in there? I clearly need some kind of a bomb. Oh, I know! I have some kind of a bomb! Silly me! How could I forget that I am constantly being pursued by bombs in this level? Wait, why are these... Why are these missiles coming after me? I wasn't even in the light before! That's not fair! Who cares? I got it. I don't even give a fuck because I got it. And by the way, I just now noticed that my time is coming to a close here. Which means I really need to fucking hurry up. Oh, here's... Here's some clocks, though. Oh! Whew! That was close. Oh, man. Whatever. I don't even care if I get seen. It doesn't even matter to me. My time is running out. My getting seen doesn't even matter. Oh, oh, I can you? Oh, I know what I have to do. There we go. Oh, I can't break them. Okay, cool. I was like, how do I break these if not by use of the thing? And yep, I really need to just quit paying attention to everything and just go for the gold at this point because I am kind of fucked. There we go. Holy man. I almost didn't make it, I got 12 seconds left. Here we go! Yes! Wow. That was a super intense level. I didn't talk about anything useful because all I cared about was... ...getting to that gold. I gotta say, I love levels like that where I'm just like on my toes the whole time, but... Ooh! A little toad stamp. I don't know what had... I like that guy's comment because that person agreed with me. Their comment was, that was epic. And it totally was. You know what's weird about that level, though? Is it totally felt like... Woo, jackpot. Don't even care. It totally felt like more of a... What did that feel like? It felt like more of a Bowser level, and yet it wasn't. But I guess in this game, a lot of the Bowser levels are randomly vehicle-related. So... I think that's a thing. Oh, damn it. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Man, I almost had the timing like a champion. Like, I totally thought that I was going to be straight up super champ status with that timing, but then the timing's like, nope. Only true champions can be super champ status. You're super loser status. And I said, I disagree because three extra lives is great. All right, and here we go. I think I've been in this world longer than I've been in any other world. Well, I've been in this world more recording sessions than I've been in any other world, and I think that's because... Gosh, Luigi looks so great in the Tanuki suit. I should just always play as Luigi and always have the Tanuki suit. Although part of me believes that I can't really make the decision to always have the Tanuki suit because knowing me, I would- Oh, what? I didn't realize- Oh, that was ridiculous. I'm not blaming the game for that, but what I will say is I didn't realize that they were going around in a, uh... I didn't realize that they were going around. I thought they were just going... Uh, I thought they were just going, like, back and forth. And so because I thought they were just going back and forth and I didn't realize they were going around, I thought I was safe right there. Like, I was like, I'm fine. Oh, Charging Chuck, I hate to tell you, but I've got cat suit, which means you're kind of screwed. Like, you think you're all charging and you think you're all Chuck, but I'm all charging and I'm all Chuck. All right, well, let's just get on... Whoa! That was not going in a direction that I expected it to. I thought it was going to go around in a circle. Dude, this game is changing all my expectations of the world by having all these platforms that go around in ways- Oh shit! Like I was saying, this is messing with my expectations of the world by having all these platforms that move around in directions that I'm not expecting. Ooh, and now- Oh gosh, please get it! Oh nice, okay, cool. Except for that totally did end up screwing me over in the long run for- Getting on these. No, seriously, I compliment a lot of the really basic mechanics in this game a lot, and this is one of the very basic mechanics that I have to say I'm really impressed with. Just having platforms that don't always move in, like, a predicted way is sort of a cool idea, just because 
you sort of get used to the way things like move in a Mario game, and then to sort of be like, oh shit, damn it, to sort of just be like, these things move in a totally new and unique and cool way, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, and now we have them coming off factory style. I wonder if you can get Charge and Chuck, yep. Oh, he doesn't get hurt by him though. I was about to say, I wonder if you can like trick Charge and Chuck into getting wrecked by those things. Okay, there's the stamp. All right, neat. Because, yeah, I was totally hoping that you would be able to, like, trick Charge and Chuck into hurting himself on these, but apparently the game is not cool enough to be like that. Oh, no. I'm wondering if you miss the star on the... Okay. Whew. That was scary. I thought maybe if you missed the star when it was coming by the first time that, like, it was one of those things where you missed it forever. Oh. Oh. No. Whoa. Oh, that was scary. Oh, no. Gosh, this... I don't even know a good way to, like, avoid these properly. Okay, let's look around, make sure... Oh, no! No! So I thought long and hard about the possibility of me being able to get this star without the cat bell soups, and albeit in the past, there have been many places where I've been able to, like, juke my way through those situations, and I was, like, you know, I was sort of able to do it without the cat bell suit. I sort of came to the conclusion in this case, I was like, I absolutely think that I have to have the, oh crap. Oh, that worked, okay, cool. Yeah, I came to the conclusion, I was basically like, I don't think there's any way in, oh shit, in all high holy hell that I'm gonna not be able to, do that I'm gonna be able to do this without the cat bell suit. All right, so he gets up a lot faster than I think I'm expecting him to, but now, okay, cool. Oh, I want him to be in a bottom corner. That would be, I think, a lot more ideal for me. Don't switch. You're in a really great... Damn it. All right. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Well, now... He's not in an ideal place for me at all, especially now that I don't have... Cat suit. All right. Well, let's get him over here. Oh, nope. Let's get him over here. You know, I actually can... Yeah, there we go. I don't necessarily have to be outside of the, the uh, square. I think I was worried a little bit too much. Oh! He's making the playing field a bit, a wee bit smaller. Oh, and this is it! Oh, no! That was Get! Oh, man. If he manages to F me over now, this is... I'm gonna be so unhappy. Okay, cool. If he killed me right then after I put... So, by the way, it took a lot of trouble to get the cat bell suit to the end of the level there. Like... It was actually legitimately challenging. So if he had killed me right there, after I had gone through all the trouble to get the cat bell suit to the end of the level, I would have been really unhappy. You know what would be even funnier? If I, like, got distracted while I was talking, and I just jumped off the edge while I was waiting. Like, I would be super embarrassed if I was running around complaining about how hard it was to get the cat bell suit to the end of the level, and then I just fell off a, an e a ledge, and I was like, well, shit, now I have to beat the boss over again. And I have to get the cat bell suit to the end of the level. Which would not be cool, but hey... You know what is cool? Having completed World 5 of this game! I'm starting to wonder... Actually, I already know the answer to this question. I was about to say, I'm starting to wonder how many worlds there are going to be in this, this game. And then, I answered my own question because... Holy shit! You know what I am noticing right now? Look at all the stamps! What I am really wondering is how many stamps are there in this game? Like, to be completely honest, I wonder, like, I don't feel like there's enough worlds left for those stamps, but you know what is interesting? I was watching a review of this game and somebody said, this game will surprise you. Like, even when you think there's no more levels to unlock, it'll just keep on unlocking levels and you'll just be like, the fuck? I guess if this game were anything like Super Mario 3D Land, you would beat the whole game and then it would turn out that there's like twice as many stuff, things at the end. And holy shit, we're in Sky World. I have always loved... Oh. Oh. Let's just stop thinking... Whoa, where does this pipe go? Oh, it just goes to different parts of Skyland and we get a free circus tent free stamp right here. Well, what a very easy stamp to get. I would... She's laughing at me. That stamp is laughing at me. No, I'm just kidding. I would talk to this fairy, but the fairies... Nobody in this game is friendly. Nobody likes talking. 
They all just want to sit there and giggle at you and stuff. So no talking with that fairy. But it's a good thing I did that right off the bat. I actually, the reason I was running around instead of running into a level was because after the last area where there was like so many... Oh, I guess I can't move on until I beat some levels. I was going to say, after the last area where there were so many of like these types of things where you just unlock levels just by kind of like interacting with little piles of rubble, I sort of said to myself, I am never going to miss one of those again. By the way, though, 6-P... Oh, I'm gonna die. 